Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Bad Boys for Life. So this film is a continuation of the Bad Boys franchise, or trilogy really, that started in the early 2000s. You have Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2, and this one takes place about a decade later with the same actors, and it follows them as one is considering retirement, and another one is actually shot down in public. So as one is considering retirement, the other one is getting harder into the field than they ever have before, and the two of them have to meet some sort of middle ground as they try to find the person that attempted to kill the Will Smith character. So Bad Boys for Life was not a movie I was initially looking forward to at all. I just hadn't seen any of the other Bad Boys movies. There was nothing about this one that interested me in particular. So I didn't really care about it all that much, but then reviews came out and they were really good. And the opening weekend box office performance was out of this world good. It made, I think, $70 million over the four-day weekend, which was really impressive. You, it, It's rare that a movie such as this one can open that that well, and I think, it, so overall, it made a lot of money, and a lot of people saw it, and a lot of people liked it, so I actually did get some excitement for Bad Boys for Life. And in the end, I think that this is a very average movie. I think it's fine. And I don't really understand all the critical acclaim for it. And maybe the critical acclaim was just felt blown out of proportion by the fact that it made so much money. And maybe that kind of influenced the way that I viewed the critical opinion. But I think a lot of people really, really liked this movie. And I didn't quite understand it personally because I think it's just a very average action movie. A place that this movie really should have excelled was in the action. Because for one, it's an action movie, and the other Bad Boys movies, really the only reason that they stand out and the reason that a lot of people enjoy them today and the reason that they've kind of become cult classics is because the action stands out and a lot of people think that it's really well done and it makes for a really fun movie. So going into Bad Boys for Life, I was really hoping that if all else fails, the action would be really fun to watch. And unfortunately, I didn't think that it was. It was fine, and I mean, any action that involves guns and fighting and hiding and that kind of stuff, I, I find it entertaining generally. So unless it's like Gemini Man level bad, then I'm not going to think that it's terrible and it's going to keep me entertained. But with Bad Boys for Life, I was still entertained by it, but I wouldn't say that it was great because for one, there was a lot of shaky cam and for two, all the action scenes felt very repetitive and they lasted for about 15, 20 minutes and they did feel quite long in the tooth towards the end of them and I really I kind of started waning out towards the end of some of the action scenes because I felt like I was watching a lot of the same things happening over and over again. And I will admit that Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have a really great chemistry. And I think that's another reason that the first two movies are so iconic is that that camaraderie and that dynamic between them. And in this movie, it's definitely still there. And I would say that that's the best part of the movie is the fact that those two have great chemistry that it's a, and the fact that it feels like they are a real friendship in real life. It, it definitely stands out. However, their acting independent of each other was really not great and in fact a lot of the acting in this movie in general just wasn't very well done and that took me out of the movie a lot. Right as I was starting to get invested into it, um, it was either Martin Lawrence or some of the supporting cast or even Will Smith in a couple of scenes they all just felt like they weren't in a movie and they felt like they were over dramatizing everything and because of that it took me out of the movie. And the plot isn't very interesting, it's fine, and it serves the movie for what it is, but I didn't think it was very, very interesting. So, in the end, I said this at the beginning of the review, and I'll say it again, it's just an average movie. It's nothing spectacular, and it's nothing that you need to go out and see, but if you're a fan of the Bad Boys franchise, I can understand why you would like this movie. I've never seen the other Bad Boys movies, and action movies aren't necessarily like my number one genre. It's not like they're a genre of movies I don't like, it's just they're not usually my number one. So even though the action of this movie is entertaining, it's really the only thing that the movie has going for it outside of the chemistry between Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. And besides that, I would say that it's just an okay movie. And the comedy too is really forced. That was a problem for me because whenever you have a movie where a joke is said and there's like kind of a pause because the audience is supposed to be laughing and the audience isn't laughing, that's an instant killer on my score for a movie. And there was a lot of that in this. And 
Admittedly, the jokes weren't not funny. They did make me chuckle a little bit, but that was the exact problem. There's jokes constantly in this movie, and they only made me chuckle a little bit because they were just in little segments, and they weren't really jokes that would land or stick. And I think that's kind of a good symbol for overall what's wrong with the movie. There's just little segments, tiny little action scenes, tiny little quips, tiny little interactions between characters, and they're entertaining, but put them all together and it just makes for a really average and honestly somewhat bland movie. I will give Bad Boys for Life a 5 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for Bad Boys for Life. So, what are your thoughts on this movie or what do you think of the other two in the trilogy? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I am Robert Burke and this has been... The Clever Critics. Goodbye.